Hey y'all, it is your girl Glitter Mama here, and today I am going to be doing a, another unboxing for you. This is Birch Box. Right here, I'm covering up the mail and stuff. This is what it looks like. Um, the last two Birch Box have been kind of a complete fail. Um, and I think I forgot to rate last month, but I definitely would give it a four for last month, which was the month of. September but this month I kind of sneak peek just to kind of see what I was getting and I think it's gonna be a little bit better so yeah let's just roll okay so let's get this bad boy started gonna if you've seen this knife before you know what video I had this from I actually like the box better than the inside box. Let's just put it that way. So, yeah, they should have kept just that. Hmm. Mm. I'm not really digging it. What do you think? No. Like, I'm really not digging it. Like, come on now. If you're going to do, like, a box for Halloween, put pumpkins or skulls or something on it. Hell, even have an orange and black and, and maybe, like, some creepy other purple, you know? Not no... Like, I know you're trying to say classy, but that's not cute. So, the month... Our aim this month is take a breather and slow way down. Um... Think masking while movie marathoning or using a night cream before getting a full night's rest. No matter how you love to unwind, we're bringing you rejuvenating products to make the most of your time. Naps and cozy blankets strongly encourage. Okay. It's nice that... Okay. So, okay. I'm looking here. Um... What? Okay. So, when I did a sneak peek, I went on their website just to kind of see what I got, which was like yesterday, I believe, because the day before, I got a note, you know, I got my thing saying, hey, you know, it's coming. And it showed these size shampoo bottles. Okay. This is shampoo. Conditioner. My hair, like, if you don't know this, but... My hair is not short, like, at all. So this, this won't even cover my hair. This won't even cover my hair. So, I mean, this is from the brand Poller, Poller by Jeff Caskton. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's a moisturizing and repairing weightless hydration for strong, shiny hair. Okay. Um... Might try it, might not try it. Who knows? Um, I was actually kind of expecting a bigger sample than this. You know what I mean? Like, I was actually expecting, like, a sample size like you would get in the travel section at, like, Walmart or Target or somewhere. But, whatever. Wow. So, this is from Dr. Lip. This is the Miracle Balm 100% Natural for Dry skin luscious lips and l glossy bits bites is it b-i-t-s bits. bits okay so i mean look how tiny that thing is like i mean that's what it looks like okay sorry i'm going to try this on well, there ain't none coming out. It's kind of sticky. I was actually really excited for this. And now I don't know if I'm excited or not about it. Because I like anything to do with my lips because I sometimes go without makeup and I still have to have some sort of like chapstick on them or something like that but I don't know it doesn't have a scent to it so I mean it's it's not like it's like a fruity scent or a vanilla -y type scent so you're good on that um so the next thing is um this face cream from the organic pharmacy 
um, double rose rejuvenating for radiant glowing skin. This would be probably another like winter time. Okay, it smells pretty good, you know. I mean, you smell it. Let's see if you. I don't know. Maybe my senses are off because I was just recently sick. It smells good, don't it? Kind of. It's like lemony. Yeah, it kind of smells kind of lemony, like a lemongrass kind of scent. Um, but it's weird because it says it is got rose in it, so you would think it would smell more like roses or something. So that was a very, um, surprising scent. Um, let's see. The next thing I got is Chine Cynthia Rowley Eyeliner. It's a cute little packaging though. Look at that. Isn't that cute? really like the packaging. Ooh. I'm digging. You know, a girl can never have too many eyeliners, you know. I'm an eyeliner whore, so this is like a plus for me because this is like the first, um eyeliner that I have gotten I think from Birchbox so very well so let me just tell you for the past two months I have not been receiving like little per like little miniature like because I see like everybody else getting like perfumes and I'm like why am I not finally I got one so this is from by Mar Margo Alina Tokyo Milk Marque Dispose Dark um, so this is Dare to Follow Tokyo Dark, and there is no telling where it might take you. TokyoMilk.com, ingredients, out, whatever. Pretty raw and, ooh, Ambrosia Apple, Amber Queen Rose, Mandarin, and Orish Greens. I'm probably boring you guys, but let's just... I kind of dig it. I just smell my hand. You'll have to smell my hand because I sprayed it on there. But it's cute. Look how cute the little bottle is. Doesn't it smell good? I don't like it. I just, it smells like an old, old grandma to me. <laughs> but I kind of dig it. So, I mean, I'm always loving these like little like perfumes because like, you know, your girl likes to smell good. And I was actually like, you know. So let me just tell so with this perfume, um, let me just tell you a little side story on this. So, um, if you would have met me like five, six years ago, even before I had my kid, I loved just anything that was like fruity or vanilla-y. Like I didn't like grown up scent at all. Like I really didn't like anything like that, but I've been like, like lately been like so down for like anything. And this is just something that's like kind of right up my alley. I don't know. Maybe it's, I'm getting older. I don't know, but, um, yeah, I really like it. My brother says it, he doesn't like it at all. He says it smells really, really terribly, but I like it. So, I mean, I guess it just acquired, you know, since. So I'll tell you something about this box. So when I first purchased it, if you've seen the last two ones, I wasn't really thrilled about it. It's getting better. Um, I guess what happens is you, I mean, like, I wouldn't recommend this. I wouldn't recommend you trying it for three months. I think you should try it for at least six months just to kind of get a feel for it. Um, but the lot, the first two boxes are always going to be like a flop for you. That's what happened with me and Ipsy, and I about gave up on it. I really did. I about gave up on it. But honestly, um... Um, so let me just go through how much each thing is um, for the full price. So the Cynthia Rowley, where is that at? Eyeliner, the, I guess this is like the small size, but it's a pretty good size. Um, eyeliner is um, 16 bucks. Um, the, um, where is it at? The shampoo and conditioner for full size. Um, well for the shampoo for the full size is $22. The conditioner is $22 as well. So like this is $44 worth of shampoo and conditioner. Like if you got it wholesale or wholesale, the big bottle. Um, the Dr. Lip for the full size is $16 and 50 cents. Um, 
the organic pharmacy oh my jesus this is a lot um for a full size of this face cream like if you get like the full full size of this face cream it is 88 dollars i know like say what like yeah um so this is what it says that it's got a combination of rose hips ginger go to cola and mar and marigold I don't smell any of that in there. I smell like lemongrass or something like citrusy. Um, so yeah. And then lastly, the perfume, the full size perfume of this. The size perfume of this is um, $42. Um, basically, this is inspired by fa uh, fairy tales. This mossy scent layers of ambrosia apple and amber queen. Amber Queen, Queen Amber Rose with green and leafy notes. So, I just hit myself on nose. So, you guys are probably wanting to know what my rating is for this. My rating is I'm gonna give it a six. I do kind of rate this a little bit higher because I kind of see myself using a lot more of these products than the last few months. Um, so, I mean, I would totally, I mean, I might not use this right away. I might wait until winter time because I like to keep all of the moisturized, the ones that are more moisturizing, like as far as like face creams and stuff like that for the winter time, um, because my skin does get a little dry. So I like to, you know, but I'm oily all through the year. It's just, I get a little bit more drier than usual. Um, but I mean, I can see myself using all of this, like eventually, um, not that I wouldn't use any of the other stuff. Um, some of the stuff I wouldn't use just because, um, it wasn't fit for me, but I am s totally seeing myself like actually using the eyeliner because you know, your girl always needs some eyeliner, this little cute little thing, you know, Hey girl, Hey, the shampoo, the conditioner, Sprite, you know, this perfume. Um, so yeah. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, so thanks for watching. I hope that, you know, you subscribe to me because, you know, there's more unboxings of subscription things. Um, if you want me, if you want me to like check in on other subscription boxes, let me know down in the comments because, you know, I will, I'm totally open to like going and checking it out. I probably wouldn't use it or anything like that unless like maybe they sent me like a free subscription box to try for a month or something like that. Um, I did, um, I am, I think I'm going to be receiving in the next couple of days the Walmart beauty box, but it comes seasonally. Um, and then there's a Mickey one that I'm doing so stay tuned for that because I love anything Disney so yeah um and then of course I do ipsy like normal so yeah and there's one more oh scent birds so I'm interested in me start doing the scent bird subscription monthly thing um let me know and I will totally do it um and also don't forget to follow me on my social media um you will see me in my daily activities especially on snapchat that's where i'm like mostly on um so yeah and don't forget whether you're dressed up dressed down you're beautiful bye